What's up everybody? Welcome to my fourth video of my outdoor aquaponics. I finally have all the plumbing routed and my aquaponics system has been operational for 10 days now. So let's start at the sump tank. If you've seen the past videos, I have a 1900 gallon pump, gallon per hour pump. I, ha I have it off right now so that way I can actually hear myself think because it gets quite loud. Anyways, uh, it pumps up here and splits two ways. One goes to the fish tank and the other goes to each of the grow beds and the floating raft system. So I have four grow beds. Each is a flood and drain so the water goes up and then down and up and down it's continuous non-stop and lastly i have my floating raft system oh, so the water comes in to the last last pipe there and drains through here these are two inch net pots and i have hydrogen inside each pot Let's see if I could give you a uh, view of the underside of the system. There's a lot of pipes. As you can see, there's a lot of plumbing under there. But I'm not having any problems with each one of the beds starting and breaking siphon. So everything is tuned perfectly right now. As for the fish tank, Still got all the, the goldfish. They're doing good. And uh, when the water comes up through here, I have a spray bar. I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom. So it keeps this water aerated. And when the sump tank is flowing, when the pump's on and everything's going in there, uh, that's super aerated as well. This is a, a slow, S-L-O. It's a solid, solid lift uh, I can't remember you'd have to look it up basically what it does it, it lifts the solids the fish waste and I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the bottom and a couple slits on the side and then the water comes up heads over this I'm building a swirl filter but since I only have goldfish at the moment I'm not too concerned about the uh, solids buildup in my system but it will be a 55 gallon drum right here. That way I'll be able to tap into it and take out the, the poop, the fish poop. And eventually I'm gonna have everything paneled. Uh, this will have a lid on it. This will have a lid on it and, and sides as well. This is going to be a um, fish feeder for the kids so the kids could come out here, drop food in here, it'll feed the fish. That way they don't have to lift the heavy lid that will be on top of this. So I'll go ahead and plug the system in for you. Come on. All right, that's plugged in. And now you can see the spray bars giving plenty of oxygen to the fish for now. They seem like they're happy. And you're gonna see the far pipe, the floating raft. That should be kicking on here shortly. So basically I'll always have two constantly flowing pipes coming into the sun tank. The fish tank and the floating raft system. And uh, just a FYI, this is called a CHOP2 system. CHOP, C-H-O-P, it's constant height, one pump. I have one pump here, and my fish tank stays the constant height, that level. So if that pump ever fails, my fish aren't going to die. Water will always stay at this level. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me a message. I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time. Take care.